Hello everyone, and welcome to my Vanderpump Bombshell channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Tom Sandoval is prepared for everybody to set on the brakes on freely disgracing him over his months-long undertaking with Rachel Rachel Levis. During Vanderpump Rules Walk 19 episode, the 41-year-old separated in tears subsequent to being untouchable from unscripted TV drama's companion bunch following his bamboozling outrage and separation from accomplice of nine years Ariana Maddox, just adding to his sensations of disengagement. Love is costing him after the contention while looking for emotional well-being treatment over the kickback. Rachel cutting off from me, that aggravation, it comes in waves. He made sense of in a confession booth. Me journaling, not drinking was me attempting to interface with her in a manner since I realized she was journaling and she couldn't drink. I lost basically my companions and presently losing Rachel. It's all's a great deal for me inwardly, Sandoval added. There's essential for me that thought when she gets out perhaps we can both be in a solid spot to see each other once more and interface. Yet I'm sorting out that won't ever occur and it extremely Ruler makes me extremely upset. The Tom Sandoval and the most additional items frontman then got profound while glancing through photographs of him and Levis together, adding, I simply see those photos and I'm like, that won't ever occur from now on. The close-to-home second provoked his BFF Tom Schwartz to attempt to comfort him. Tom, assuming it's any comfort, I feel this in my entire being, Schwartz said. I'm telling you, buddy, you are at the last part of this. Notwithstanding, Sandoval differ and compared his public shunning to that of sentence killer Scott Peterson, who was sentences to life in jail for the 2002 homicides of pregnant spouse Lassie Peterson and their unborn child. I see why and I, he's additionally contrasted the embarrassment with the O.G. Simpson preliminary and George Floyd's homicide. No, that is not in any way exact. He took shots back at Schwartz. I'm being dealt with like I'm f ruler Scott Peterson, and it will f Lord wait with me, similar to f ruler Scott Peterson. Furthermore, when Schwartz answered, You're not Scott Peterson, didn't he murder his better half? Sandoval jested, supposedly. In the midst of all the show, Sandoval owned up to feeling damaging, further stressing Schwartz. Without precedent for quite a while, I don't have the foggiest idea how to help Tom, Schwartz partook in a confession booth. I've recently been racking my mind attempting to consider somebody who could have somewhat more skill around here. Somebody who's had to deal with this who can show Tom there will be better days to come. See the aftermath proceed when Vanderpump Rules airs Tuesdays at 8 p.m. on Bravo. Also, continue to peruse to glance back out of the show's greatest bamboozling outrages. We should not fail to remember that we owe this whole series to Shiana Shea's issue with entertainer Eddie Cibrian, who was hitched at the opportunity to previous genuine housewives of Beverly Slopes to Var Brandy Glanville. Shiana dated him while Brandy was pregnant with their subsequent kid, and the two ladies' sensational sit down at SUR, composed by Lissa Vanderpump, normally, was the seek from one episode of RHOB8 to Vanderpump Rules. Trickiest and most chaotic hybrid of all time. In the wake of denying he undermined then sweetheart Stassi Scroder all through the whole first season, Jax Taylor concedes in the finale that indeed, really he undermined her in Las Vegas and got the other lady pregnant. His affirmation dazed Stassi and the remainder of the cast that had safeguarded and favored him in the separation. One of the show's most scandalous hookups went down in season two, when Jax admitted to laying down with Kristen Doubt, Stassi's dearest companion who turned out to date his closest companion, Tom Sandoval. However, Kristen at first disproved the case. She at last conceded that they connected, yet never kissed, during the final. Gracious, and it went down while Tom was dozing in the other room, and they were watching the Ryan Gosling film Drive. This all finished in Stassi, conveying her now notorious smack across Kristen's face, while Tom punched Jax. Seasons later, 
Kristen later owned up to undermining Tom all through their six-year relationship. After Ariana Maddox joined the cast in season two, Kristen immediately had some undeniable inclinations about Tom's kinship with his kindred barkeep. While the pair denied truly connecting while Tom was dating Kristen, answering the SUR servers proceeded with stresses. Ariana scandalously proclaimed, I'm more intelligent than you. I'm prettier than you. Get the f, get the f, cover it. Tom in the long run conceded during the season two gathering that he and Ariana made out in a pool when they were both in Las Vegas. When asked by Andy Cohen in the event that she stressed over Tom's past after he admitted to undermining Kristen a couple of times, Ariana said, I've been companions with him for a considerable length of time. I realize him all around well. It's anything but a thing for me, by any stretch of the imagination. Moan. After Tom and Ariana reported they were formally together, Kristen uncovered in season three that a lady contacted her on Instagram professing to have connected with Tom while he was in Miami with Jax and Schwartz. Kristen even brought Miami young lady into SUR to face Tom. However, Ariana didn't treat the charge in a serious way after Tom energetically denied the cases and the couple left. At that point, in any case, Jax apparently blamed everything on his companion by support of the case. Furthermore, after Tom and Ariana's 2023 separation, Jax, who left the show in 2020, tweeted an obscure message. I've called a ton of things on that show that individuals never accepted, he composed. All that I say generally closes being valid. After Tom Schwartz and Katie Maloney got hitched in 2016, he admitted to shakily making out with one of Lala Ken's companions in season six. At the point when Schwartz was gotten some information about the story, his memory was fluffy. It's absolutely impossible. No, it could never have been, he says in a 2018 episode. Better believe it. I went to the cottage. However, I certainly don't recollect making out with anyone. I dots. Face that evening? That's what I recall. Schwartz later addresses his conduct in a confession booth, conceding, I really and genuinely am puzzled. Yet, it wasn't whenever Schwartz first undermined Katie while he was power outage smashed, owning up to kissing one more lady while he was intoxicated in season three. Following 12 years together, Katie and Schwartz declared their separation in Walk 2022. In a 2014 episode, Jax guaranteed Katie undermined Schwartz by motorboating an anonymous man, sharing that he'd heard the story from Stina. Katie was enraged over the charge, and Sheena in the long run apologized to her co-star. I not even once said she cheated. I expressed out loud whatever I saw, Sheena wrote in a Bravo blog. In the wake of conversing with Katie about it, I understand that it wasn't what it appeared. At the point when she twisted down to take her shoes off, her head was around there. Additionally, in her plastered state when she was moving shaking her head to and fro it most certainly seemed as though she was motorboating this person. She didn't cheat, I basically felt like she went too far. After some serious sleuthing, including taking a gander at Uber receipts, Kristen reasoned her sweetheart James Kennedy went behind her back with one of Sheena's companions in season four. He denied it to her face, just saying they might have kissed, yet later conceded in a meeting, truly, Jenna and I were certainly boning. And the new famous, Jif was conceived. In any case, that wasn't the main time James undermined Kristen, as the DJ likewise connected with Lala, who accepted he was single at that point, and one more SUR leader, Lauren, who was involved with one more representative at the eatery. Thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.